creepy. Meg turned pale as Kirsty also played bare footage shows her cruel treatment of Queen. Kirsty Allsop has reacted to a social media user who offered their support to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle following the death of the Queen. Kirsty Allsop, 51, addressed the public's reception to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's return to the UK as they honoured the late Queen Elizabeth II. It comes after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex joined the new Prince and Princess of Wales, William, and Kate, in a rare reunion following Her Majesty's death. Members of the royal family made an appearance outside Windsor Castle on Saturday, paying their respects to the Queen by viewing flowers left by mourners and meeting members of the public. Taking to Twitter, Kirsty admitted she has had to refrain from hitting back on social media after some users had sent spiky tweets about the Queen and newly appointed King Charles III. Praising Her Majesty's demeanor, the location, location, location presenter tweeted, when it's tempting to send a spiky tweet to those being critical or mocking of our Queen, and our new King with, within days of her death I just think what would the Queen do? It's been said again and again that she found positives in everyone, and set an extraordinary example. A social media user reacted to Kirsty's post and added critics should be more kind towards Harry and Meghan as they too praised the late Queen. Twitter user, at Dave Jeffs wrote, I hope her influence will stop people being so hateful towards Meghan and Harry. But I won't hold my breath. Kirsty took the opportunity to respond and suggested the Sussex's treatment of the Queen had been a cause of concern for some sections of the British public. She penned, I think M and H's treatment of the Queen is one of the reasons people are not so enamoured of them. The Channel 4 presenter did not go into any further detail in regard to which situation she had been referencing in regard to Meghan and Harry. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down from their roles as royals in 2020 but have openly discussed the problems they had faced as working royals and with the firm. Meanwhile, the pair were warmly welcomed during a meet and greet held in Windsor on Saturday, as they honoured the Queen. William, Kate, Meghan, and Harry, greeted and shook hands with members of the public who laid flowers for Her Majesty. Meghan has recently been praised for keeping cool and calm when one woman was captured lowering her head to ignore her and avoid shaking hands. A viral video showed the unnamed woman then lift her head as the former Suits star walked past, before looking over at the Duchess. But other mourners were pleased to see the royals with one attendee seen embracing Meghan in a big hug. During the appearance, Meghan connected with a 14-year-old girl who gave her a warm embrace. The teen opened up to CNN about the special moment, saying, We were just waiting for her to come, and she came in and asked my name and how my day was, how long I was waiting. And I asked her if I could have a hug, and she hugged me back. So, that was just quite an amazing moment. I'm still shaking now. I can't really explain what the feeling was when she did it, but it was really nice. When asked why she wanted to hug Megan, the teen answered, it just went through my mind. Everyone was kind of cheering me on, and I guess I felt like I needed to in a way. I just really wanted to at least hug her, because I look up to her in some ways, and it just felt like it was the right thing to do. She added, it's still such a sad thing that is happening now. Because the Queen died and also because of everything. It was quite nice to see William and Kate and Meghan and Harry together. I just wanted to show her that she's welcome here, I guess. I wanted to hug her after everything that's happened, really now. In other news, Prince Harry, who made a brief appearance in his wife's first episode of Archetypes with guest Serena Williams, is struggling as his wife Meghan Markle takes on more work, according to author and historian Dr. Tessa Dunlop. Speaking to Palace Confidential, Ms. Dunlop said, I think Harry's struggling with it. Poor old Harry. Who is front of the cut? It's Megan. Who is hosting the podcast? It's Megan. Where's Harry? I feel sorry for Harry. He's like the in-between guy. Megan is off there in the fast lane. It comes when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are back in the UK this week for the first time since returning for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Harry and Meghan will appear at events in London and Manchester before jetting off to Germany to mark the one-year countdown to the Invictus Games. It is not known if they will visit the Queen in Balmoral, 
but it is thought unlikely as the couple have arrived without their children Archie and Lily on the working trip. Their children are